us, okay? So for the next few minutes, I'm going to try to discuss some of these things. Uh, these are not uh, in, the, in the paper or anything, but there's a, a bit more important through kind of a few because uh, students ask, and then I thought, hey, if that good student, he's a good student, okay? Uh, didn't know this, then probably some of you also forgotten, okay? But uh, what, what's wrong with this? Okay, like I said, uh, when you look at this, you go like, oh, to waste my time, right? It's so easy. Uh, but the thing that you want to pay attention to is this, okay? So uh, I'm just curious, have you seen limits like this? Never. Uh, never see before. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm quite sure some people never, uh, but I've seen this in some tutorials before, all right? Which means some schools uh, acti actively actually uh, talk about this. Okay, but what do you think actually happens? Well, the idea is actually not that hard. Okay, now if you think about it, right? Uh, let, let's just use something easier to, to to start off our discussion. Like this one, this is lame, right? Now, if you tell me you don't know how to do this, I'll be really quite upset with you. Okay, first of all, one look at it, you know, is uh, AP, because this is the A plus two uh, A plus M minus one D format, all right? Yeah, so it's a linear, it's an AP. Okay, so so but we don't care. Even if you can't tell it's AP, you know what you should do, right? You should break it. I always think that uh, if you can break it into smaller pieces like this, then it becomes even easier because this is even more obvious as an AP. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, right? Yeah, so this is what I like to see because it becomes like, oh, I remember that formula, n over 2, 1 plus n, right? Uh, some people even memorize it. So this is even easier because it's constant, 5n, done. Are we all clear? Oh, so this is super easy. What's up with this? Well, this is, it starts with minus 2. What do you think it really means? Well, you see, in summation, if you don't know what it means, right, you should write it out, right? So what it really means is that the first term is this. The second term will be this. Understand? So what's the difference? Well, it just started off at the negative side. That's all. Okay, so how do you deal with this? Well, it turns out very much the same. So all you need to do is to, well, I, I mean, again, for me, I will break it. So when you break it into something like this, then you go like, hey, now it becomes really easy, right? Uh, again, this is the easiest, so we shall talk about this first, because it's 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, uh, keep on plusing, but how many terms there are? So now the question is how many terms you have here, from minus 2 to n. It's like asking you 1, 1, 1 to 1, 1, you start from 1, 1, 11 to 1, 1, 1, how many terms are there? If you tell me 100, you're wrong. Ah, 101, okay? So you take the top minus away the bottom plus 1. Remember that one? Okay, awesome. So, so that's how you figure out how many terms there are, right? So how, do you, how, do you, how many terms are there now? n plus 2 plus 1. So it's n plus 3 terms. Okay? Because if we count from 1 to n, there'll be n, then 0 minus 1 minus 2. Actually, n plus 3 makes a lot of sense. So, so this one is just done. Agree? Okay. How about here? Well, if you take a look at this, well, it's still an AP, isn't it? Come on. It's still the 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus n, but except that you don't, Start from one. You start from minus two, but it's still minus one. Minus, you get I mean, keep on adding by one, right? Yeah. So, so if you ask me, the AP formula is actually not that hard, also. So it's n. What is n? N is n plus three. The number of terms. Uh, first term is minus two. Uh, hold on. Two a m minus one. No space. Plus d. Okay, one more time n over 2, 2a two plus n minus 1 times z. Are we okay? Done. Simple enough? Not that hard, right? Okay, so, so when you come across a negative power, oh, negative power, sorry, uh, negative uh, limit, lower limit, it doesn't mean the end of the world, doesn't mean it suddenly becomes harder, you just have to, well, uh, trace back the few terms at the back and then add on, that's all. Are we all clear? Okay, so break it into smaller pieces now is a great idea, okay? Now, but this is a simple example, but it kickstarts some interesting discussion of uh, negative lower limit, okay? So let's take a look at this one. How about this? R square. Now, the first thing when you see R square, you must know that, hey, you, you, you need to rely on some formula, okay? Now, let's just imagine that we have this formula. The question has to give us a formula, okay? So they have to give us the R square formula because it's not AP, not GP, okay? Uh, oh, just use the formula, right? Yep. Uh, but the only variable in the formula is n. So if you were to change the upper limit to 2n or 100 or whatever, you just change all the n, right? You get the number. But you cannot change the lower limit. That's the rule, right? You want to use the formula, the formula looks like that, you can only change the n. Are we all clear? Okay, good. So now we have another kind of a, a little bit of different problem. We go like, uh, yeah, but this starts from minus 2, that starts from 1. 
So what are you going to do? Well, you still probably still break it, right? I think the breaking it is... I think that's a very good idea. I don't know. When I break things into smaller pieces, I find them more uh, manageable. Yeah? Okay, because you know that this is the one, this is the part that you need the formula for, right? But this part is you don't need what? We talked about it just now. This one is just 5 times m plus 3. Done! I think you are agreeable with me? Okay, so this is still the same. Huh? This one, okay, now you have a problem. A small problem, but nevertheless it's a problem because you, you, you cannot just copy and paste the formula here. So you know that that one starts from 1, but this one starts from minus 2. So what do you think it is? It's actually... Hold on, huh? From minus 2 to 0, and then from 1 to n. Agree? Yeah, I mean, you have to split it this way because that's the part that you can use the formula for, right? So this is the, 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 the part that you copy and paste from there. Exactly, really copy and paste. But this one, what do you do? Do it yourself. There are only three terms there, one. Minus 2, minus 1, 0. Correct? So what do you do? Well, work it out yourself. Minus 2 square. Minus 1 square. A 0 square if you like. Okay, I just write for the sake. Huh? And of course, that formula... we are done. So this is the part that requires your manual work. Any questions? Okay. Can I? I mean, it hardly happened in any exams. Really hardly happened. So uh, if it happens, some students, they don't know what to do. And I would say good students also can get a bit uh, un, uh, you know, uncertain about things. Yes, you want to ask something? Uh, that thing can be used it can, but I don't think you want to complicate yourself so hard. Lah. It's just, just uh, use calculator. Lo. It's just 5. Lah. The numerical value is just 5. It's quite easy to calculate. Okay? But I like the way you're thinking. Because, okay, all understand? Lah? Okay. What if it becomes like that? Okay? So, so the, the, what you were thinking earlier on, try to use that, right? Okay. But what do you think this? Okay, relax, wait, chill, chill. Okay, but, but, but what do you think about this? Okay, so you go like, Sang, is it the same? Well, I mean, somewhat the same, right? And I, I, I would be happy if you think that they are the same. Or at least you know what to do with the first step. It's the same, break it, right? Okay, so let, let's try to break it, okay? So, so we, we break it, uh, and then we're going to have this. Okay. Hey, sorry, no more form. Okay, and again, this is okay. Now, this is now no longer the m plus three thing, but uh, it's not hard. We know that it's two n minus minus one plus one, right? Are we okay? Can so how many terms there are? There'll be a three n plus one term. Okay, whatever. No, no, very important, right? But we all know the answer already, right? It's just this times this, and we are done. Um, okay, all right. So that's the easy part. How about this one? We're gonna, okay, I know this is the same, so we try to break it separate it so we start from minus n to 0 r square so that we can start from 1 to 2n r square and of course this is the part that you can recognize and you go like hey I'm just going to use that formula right there and I'm going to change all the n to 2n agree? change all the n to 2n I sort out the yellow part you have a problem though and there's the green part because unlike the previous one, whereby you is manageable, just thinking about the oh, answer is 5, right? So, so it's quite manageable here. This one, you'd be quite hard-pressed for some ideas. And you go like, first of all, how many terms are there? I don't know. <laughs> and there'll be n plus 1 term, right? Yeah, because you take, if you want to just take this minus this, then plus 1, n plus 1 term. Okay? So the n plus 1 term. But so what? I, I can't work it out anymore. It's not on the number five anymore, right? So you, you probably want to think about this for a moment, okay? So and I, I think one of the things that I told you before in class, uh, a, a lot of things I told you in class, uh, but some things I keep repeating means they are quite important and probably quite useful as well. And that is when you are stuck, what do you do? You expand, okay? I mean, I, then what you want to do? There's nothing. You won't work by yourself. At least you expand. So, okay, lower limit is this. This is how the first term look like. Okay? Alright. How about the second term? 
Well, minus n plus 1, right? So minus n plus 1 squared. The next one, minus n plus 2 squared. All the way to 0 squared. Okay, great. I don't know how to solve this. It's not an AP. It's not a GP. You don't have any formula for this? Are you sure? Let's try to investigate a bit. Now, this is actually n squared. Because <laughs> the negative doesn't matter what. Right, and this is actually 1 minus n bracket square. But you ought to know that 1 minus n bracket square is the same as n minus 1 bracket square because of the square again. The negative doesn't matter. Are we all clear? Okay, awesome. So maybe I should write it this way instead. Hey, now it looks like a countdown to 0. So before 0, it must be 1. And if you look at this in a reverse manner, and go like, hey, wait a minute, isn't this? Yes, it is. R equals to 0 to n r square. In fact, the 0 doesn't even matter. R equals to 1. Follow? So you, I won't say magically, but at least you, you, you figure out that, hey, this green part is really just this. And this is the yellow part, isn't it? That's the formula one, right there. Okay? Uh, so now you know, right? Uh, the answer will be, okay, it's too long for me to write. So I'm not going to write. Okay? But I'm going to tell you that, uh, okay, never mind. For the sake of making sure none of you are confused. So this is the green part, which is just there. It's all there. The, the explanation is all there. Right? So the yellow part, uh, I'm sure you know what it is, right? It's the all the n becomes 2n kind of view, and of course, uh, plus this 5, 3n rubbish. Okay? And of course, simplify a bit, uh, but, but, but I'm not very interested in the answer because I have no idea how it looks like anyway, okay? Uh, what I'm more interested in is for you to be clear about uh, this kind of negative lower limit. What do you do? Okay? Uh, not, of course, not all the time you so magically the negative doesn't matter on uh, no, uh, it's just because it was R square. Okay? Uh, in other cases, you probably really have to think about some other ways. Okay? Uh, if it is not like manageable numbers that you can work out by yourself, uh, then it probably is some AP, some GP along the way. Otherwise, you cannot solve on one. Understand what I'm talking about? Can? Okay? So the whole idea is just to talk about this. That's all. Any questions? Will this come up for A level? Oh, I don't know. Okay? Uh, but let's hope. Let's hope. Okay?